What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today with the Sony new update of 3.67 for the Sony PlayStation Vita? Guess what? We have emulators for the PlayStation Vita on version 3.67. Now we will be installing the CPS1 and CPS2 emulators. Now to give you more information, right now I am running on 3.65 and you guys can see that my emulator bubbles are working. Now if I access the PlayStation Network, it tells me to update. Just reinforcing some additional information in this video, I'm going to show you that I am on 3.65. So I'm going to go to System, System Information, 3.65. You guys can see that. Now, I don't recommend you guys to update, but I'm just sacrificing this PlayStation Vita for it, so do not update. If you want to, you can do so, but it's recommended not to. I'm just doing this for the video, since I have other PlayStation Vitas on lower versions, so it's okay that I can do this, but if you only have one, it's recommended to stay on 3.65, but if you want to decide to update, then that's your decision. You guys can see now, I did the update, it's on 3.67. So now, let's go ahead and test the emulators that we had to see if they still work. You guys can see, they were on 3.65, 3.67, they still work, which is pretty cool. So if you manage to get updated automatically and you had emulators, they'll still be working. Now, we're going to create the VHBL bubble. So we launched the PlayStation Network, let's say you're new to it, you don't have no demo or no game, then you launch the PlayStation Network and this is how we're going to get our emulators on our PlayStation Vita on 3.67. So what I did, I bought an Alien Zombie Death and I'll show you right now how I found it. But before we go to that drastic measure. We're going to search for demo. So depending on your region, you will need to find it. I have it on the description. Right now we're on the US. So I'm going to download the local Rocco, which is free. So just type in demo and then I'll give you also the Pet Saddle Club demo. So you guys can see it's 171 megabytes, 180 something megabytes. But if you really want to save space for more emulators, I mean if you're willing to pay 99 cents for the Alien Zombie Death, I mean I would recommend it. So now you guys can see that my two demos have been downloaded. And sorry if I'm going kind of fast but I just wanted to condense this video. So now let's get that lovely bubble. So our next step would be launching Content Manager. Now remember to connect or install in your PC QCMA. I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description. You can still use CMA, but it's recommended to use QCMA for this. It's a preference since you're on 3.67, the newest version. So we launch Content Manager. And we're going to go from the PlayStation Vita system to the PC. We select Applications and then PSP Other and then we're going to copy our two games to the PC. Okay, so we just give it a moment so that we can copy that information. So we're done with copying it. So we go to the PC. As we'll see, I have two emulator files. I'll go ahead and leave this in my Twitter page. I'll try to leave it in the description. So remember to include your ROMs, your cache. <laughs> so you guys can see I have some ROMs in there and the cache as well. Okay, so that's what we need as also. Remember to follow my Twitter. If you guys wanna get up to date news, like for instance, Hack Informer did a really good uh, uh, article regarding the 3.67 update. I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description as well. Now 
he suggests as well to not update now he had tested this as well and the emulator bubbles and emulators as well work on 3.67 but technically it was just uh, an update for enhancements so for example Gifon says made changes to calendar icon updated twitter dialog and wi-fi chip firmware so if you're on 3.60 do not update if you're on 3.63 do not update make sure you do not update you will lose your hack okay so now we will go and get our program that will help us install this thanks to our friend silica and pina psv image tools front end now i will be using version 5.2 i tried the newest version but it was not working it is recommended for you guys to use 5.2 if it doesn't work then use a previous version just keep on trying you know he has different versions it's worth it i know sometimes it gets errors it shouldn't really give you any errors so just keep on trying with different versions hopefully you can get that VHBL installed but the 5.2 worked for me I know the newest one didn't so from 5.2 and below try to use some of those those will help you install the VHBL so now we're gonna launch PSV image so it's gonna tell me to update I don't want to update and then I'm going to select EC installers. You guys will see when I select that VHBL is in there. Now it's going to ask you to select your account, but before that, we will need to add our account. Now I had already added it to try it out, but if you don't know how to add it, then you can name it however you want to, like PlayStation Vita 3.67. I put my next game of rebirth. So in order to get your AID, you go to Documents, PS Vita, P Game, or wherever folder, and that random number will be your AID. So you can copy and then Control V because it won't allow you to paste if you right click and paste. So Control V and then just name it. For example, I'm gonna name it Gamers 3.67 number two because it's my second profile just did this as a dummy or as a test so you guys can see but since I had already entered it I'm gonna use the gamers point I'm gonna use the gamers 3.67 so that's how you add your account or AID to the PSV image tools now as well go to the save data folder select your profile and then we're going to drag the emulators in there now these are ready just for you to drag or copy in your save data and also once you drag them in there refresh your database also when you transfer the games to the PC refresh your database always try to refresh your database once you make movements within those folders so that your PlayStation Vita can detect them and your PC as well so now technically we're ready. We launch PSV image tools. We select EC installers, VHBL, select install, and then gamers 3.67 or your profile. Now you select the game that you backed up from your PlayStation Vita to the PC. In this case, I'm gonna put Pet Saddle Club. And you guys can see in the background, it's gonna do its magic. And then you're gonna get an alert VHBL. L backup has been created which is awesome so now we close all that thank you silica for working in the front end of the PSV image tools you're an amazing dude shout out to you I'll go ahead and leave his link in the description you guys want to donate to him so we launch content manager through our PlayStation Vita and then we're going to go from PC to the PlayStation Vita system select applications PSP other then we're gonna select our local Rocco demo and then also we're gonna do the VHBL sorry I know I had said the pet saddle club I did it twice 
So either or is the same process. Sorry for the confusion, but just do it. You guys will see once you copy the VHBL save data as well. And the pets, the local Roku or Pet Saddle Club, whichever you use to install the VHBL, then you should be fine. Also remember to copy your save data. So you go to save data and then copy those emulators. Okay, so just give it a moment. This is awesome. This is pretty cool, guys. The rebirth continues for our gamers on 3.67. So now let's test out our local Roku. Look at that, guys. We have VHBL. You can create as many bubbles of VHBL that you want. If you want to clone smaller games official you know go to my previous videos you can go ahead and find that process so now you guys can see how we're launching our emulator through VHBL now we can see that it does work and then for this example I'm just gonna launch Street Fighter for CPS 1 I, I sped up the video a little bit more so that you guys can see that the examples work now, it's amazing pretty cool I love this game retro welcome back what is it the 90s now we launched the CPS 2 so there we have it now remember these are ad hoc so if you have a friend that has another PlayStation Vita you want to do this and share with your friends it's cool you know you guys can fight each other create a tournament competition you guys can see X-Men vs Street Fighter launches pretty cool now to change the settings you press start and select and it will take you to change the settings of the emulator I love these games hardly have time to play them but if you guys can play them it's amazing so if it helped guys remember to hit like subscribe share with your friends as always Game of Rebirth, out.